You can now open and save DICOM files with Photoshop CS3 Extended. To open a DICOM file, simply go to File Open, navigate to the file that you want to open, and you will enter a dialog box that enables you to select individual frames that you want to import into Photoshop and how you want these to be imported into Photoshop. So for example, as you can see, I can navigate through the individual frames using my up and down arrow keys. I can also use the standard shift and command or control options to select subsets of the frames that are contained within the DICOM file. I can also select all of them if I want to bring all of the frames into Photoshop. There are other options for how to bring these frames into Photoshop as well. So for example, you can see one of the options is to import the frames as individual layers in Photoshop. So each frame would become one Photoshop layer. The second option is to import them in an NUP configuration. So if I have 19 images here and I want to create one layer that has a tile of images uh, on that layer, I can specify five rows and four columns of images. I can also anonymize the DICOM data. So Photoshop will go through the DICOM header and scrub out all of the patient information that's contained within the header. So patient name, patient number, etc. I can also simply export JPEGs directly from this dialog box. So if I want individual JPEGs of each of my DICOM frames, I don't need to go any further than this dialog. I can simply press this button and it will save individual JPEGs to my desktop. Lastly, I can also look through all of the header information before I open any of these frames into Photoshop. So I'm going to import each individual frame as a layer, and I'm going to anonymize the data as well. So when I press open, you can see each of the DICOM frames is imported as an individual Photoshop layer. And I can also save out as DICOM as well. However, if I do certain things that are not able to be saved within the DICOM specifications, such as create an annotation on an image, Photoshop will ask you whether or not you want to throw away this information so that you can save it within the DICOM specification. One last thing I'm going to show you is how to create animations from series of images such as DICOM images. When I go to the animation palette, if I go to the flyout on the far right, and I choose Make Frames from Layers, it will import each of the individual Photoshop layers as a single frame in my animation. I can then select all of the frames and set them to the same time, so I'll choose 0.2 seconds here. And then when I press play, you can see that I have a nice animation of my knee bending. This is a really useful feature for people who are taking time series images and wanting to show them in an animation. You can export this as an AVI file or an MPEG file or even a GIF file if you're using this animation in presentations or on the web or for other uses as well. So that's a little bit about how to get DICOM images into Photoshop, how to export them, and some interesting things that you can do with them when you have them in Photoshop.